Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, that leaves us so unchanging. A lot of work, but it's fun. Oh Christmas tree, that leaves us so unchanging. Despite all that work and all that mess, the Dewarons get a real tree to celebrate Christmas every year. Yet as fast as they're decorating, the needles are falling. They are a pain in the ass. They get in the furniture, they get on the floor, they get in the carpets. But that may soon change. It's a Christmas every day in our lab, actually. Meet Dr. Raj Lada. He's the founding director of Dalhousie University's Christmas Tree Research Center. The $6 million project is funded in part by federal and provincial governments. I'm fascinated by uh, science transforming the society as my fundamental principle and belief. But there are a lot of problems in the world. What made you decide, I'm going to fix the Christmas tree industry? Um, the Christmas tree industry is about uh, close to $100 million industry, actually. Now, after hundreds of experiments, Lada and his team believe they've figured out how to make trees last longer by reducing needle loss. They say these so-called smart trees will last at least two months after they're cut, maybe longer. How do they know it will work? is similar to what we can diagnose actually a baby before even born actually, whether they'll have diabetes or whether they have high blood pressure or cholesterol. So six years after the research began, the trees are ready to move from the lab to the land. And what better place to start than in the balsam fir Christmas tree capital of the world? Jim DeLong's father started growing Christmas trees here in 1954. His sons run the farm now. Jim is also the president of the Smart Christmas Tree Research Cooperative. We'll just go between every tree and plant a new smart tree. A group of growers who have paid $500 a share to aid the development of these trees, all because they believe it will improve their product and their business. Well, there are people in, in Nova Scotia here that send as far as the Philippines, um, Thailand, to South America countries. So yes, they'll be able to ship further and a better product. Okay, so the thing everyone's going to want to know is when can they get their hands on one? Well, we're going to start putting them in the ground in 2018. So probably five years from then, you'll be able to see them start to appear on the market. But well, once these get eight feet tall, it, you'll just be amazed. They'll be the Cadillac of Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. For the Dewerons, it's difficult to imagine a more perfect tree than this. But they say if it'll prevent the mess, buying a smart tree would be a smart decision. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.